Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Book Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It must be Friday. It must be Friday because that is when I take some time to look at a magic book. Here at Magic Orthodoxy, I not only review at the latest and greatest in magic tricks, but I also review playing cards. I also review magic books and downloads and physical products and I do giveaways. That's right. Every single month I do giveaways. Every single year I give away thousands of dollars worth of magic tricks. So before you forget, hit like, sub, and follow, push those buttons. Today we're going to look at a very interesting project because this is not from some big name fancy schmancy magician celebrity. This is from Mike the Magic Man. This is a paperback self-published book, a little autobiographical, that he is selling on Amazon. And you know, this kind of takes me back to when I was younger. When I was younger and shopping for magic, it was very common to go into a brick and mortar store and find magic tricks sold in plastic bags. Like, literally, like a sandwich bag. And typed up instructions that were taken to like a Kinko's or a photocopy machine and photocopied off, right? And then sometimes your instructions were photocopies of photocopies and you could tell that everything was homemade or made in the basement, right? The magician physically touched this uh, themselves before setting this off to you. And so there was kind of like a, a homemadeness, a personalness. There, there was, sure, there was tricks and releases from the big name celebrities, but maybe those didn't come out very often. And so oftentimes you were buying tricks from magicians you had never even heard of just because they sounded cool or you wanted something new. And so this takes me kind of back to that era because Making My Own Luck, this book, is clearly um, very personal and very autobiographical. Um, Mike the Magic Man is going to tell his own life stories and share a lot of his background in his uh, 33 years of doing magic and, and life. And this book also includes a lot of his personal, uh, I guess, anxiety and his disability and how he's learned to make connections and how he's learned to overcome stage fright. And so it becomes this book about him growing up in Florida and his parents getting his first magic kit, going off to camp, um, performing at a talent show, and then starting to incorporate the things that he enjoys, like he likes cosplay, so he'll dress up as Han Solo, or he'll dress up as Doctor Strange, or he'll dress up as the Joker from Batman, right? And then he's learned to take that costume and cosplay world and his magic world and kind of mash them together. And then he talks to you about how do I fuse those th things together, but at the same time combat, you know, ADD and, and the anxieties that he's had growing up and then putting that all into a career. And then the second half of the book, he's going to give you 15 tricks. So 15 tricks, they're, they're written up the kind of old school way, like, you know, what you'd see and here's your setup and here's your presentation, but he's going to include uh, YouTube links as well. Now there are, they are spelled out. So you would physically have to type the address in to your browser. The book kind of looks like it might've been a PDF at one time where you could click the links with a, with a mouse, but now it's kind of all paper uh, document. So to do those links, you'll have to click it in. You'll find the playlist. He's got a huge uh, library of YouTube videos, both performance videos, uh, many of which are in the real world and uh, explanation videos. And it's a nice selection of different types of tricks. And so you'll get all the lessons, you'll get all the performances and uh, put it all together. So you'll learn a little bit about, a little bit about Magic Mike and then you'll get to learn some tricks for 20 bucks. So 15 tricks, right? 15 tricks all shot on YouTube, pretty much with a stationary camera. And it's, again, nothing about this project is polished, <laughs> right? The book is done, I don't know why it's done so large. It seems like the book could have been smaller. The font is really big. The font is really big. The page, um, the white space on the page is really big. There's no um, drawings or anything. It's mostly just clip art, right? So again, very, very homemade. The videos feel homemade. The book feels homemade. It feels, but it feels very personal. And you can tell there was a lot of love and care put into this as well. So to support 
Mike the Magic Man, right? To support his book and just to support his career, to show a little bit of love uh, towards really uh, someone like you and me, an amateur, uh, you know, somebody uh, who probably isn't a big name or a big celebrity that anybody would know, but somebody who's just passionate about magic and has made a life out of it and a career out of it. 20 bucks gets you the paperback at Amazon. And I wanna thank Mike for sending this to me so that I could do the review for you. I'll see you guys next time, bye. And if you'd like a shout out in the next Magic Orthodoxy playing card review, if you wanna take part in this fun little experiment that we're doing. Uh, down below, there is an Amazon wish list pinned to the topmost comment. All you gotta do is click that and select any one of the decks of cards I have listed there. I picked out just a bunch of fun decks. There's some magic decks, some other creative decks, things that I've never reviewed before. You just select one of those, gift it to me at the David's gift address. And then whatever you write on the gift receipt, Whatever you write on the gift receipt, I will say in the video, I will of course credit you, thank you for sending it to me, and then read your message aloud in the next Magic Orthodoxy deck review, as long as it's clean and nice and not political, right? We're trying to be, trying to be fun here. <laughs> it's just a fun little experiment. I don't even know how long I'll do this, but we'll do it until it's not fun anymore, I guess. So go down there, check out some of those decks, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.